Hello, everybody. Uh, hello, Barry, to your bed. Uh, thank you, Mitch, for introducing me. So my name is Peter Dunn Jordan Brooks, okay? You can call me Jordan because he's a bit of a lot to say. So I'm happy if you call me Jordan as well. Parents as well. So, a bit about me. I'm uh, I am uh, a link officer for primary schools across Wensfield, Lower Hill, Bush Group, okay? And you're one of my schools. I haven't been to visit you yet. But, uh, come in and I'll do a lot of work with you through that as well. Okay, so I'm a link officer in early help, so the parents we can support you guys as well with different things as well as children inside the school. We also work with our strength group families, hubs of Wolverhampton. So if you are needing any help at home, and if not that, we can get them to come in and support as well as us. Okay, so I'll come and do one to one for you guys. Okay. Come and play with the early years, come and speak to you guys, and also do presentations like this on different subjects that are affecting the area, as well as social media, live crime, stuff like that. Okay, so I will pass my details to Mr. Peter, the parents, if you have any questions, well, we'll give you the opportunity as well as you guys as well. Okay, so social media, who can give an example of social media? What apps have we got out there at the moment? Um, WhatsApp, Twitter, and no. You want, you want? Yeah. You want no chance to do it. So, first one, WhatsApp, was it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, WhatsApp, anything else? TikTok? Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter, okay. Anything else? YouTube. YouTube, yes. Snapchat. Snapchat, okay. So, there's a array of different ones, isn't there? Okay. Everyone in this room now, I would like everyone to be honest, okay, this is a safe space, and so no one's going to get in any trouble with me or the school, okay? So, Try and be as honest as we can. How many of us use Snapchat? Okay, so fair few of you. How many of us use Twitter? Not many, it's not as popular as it Twitter. Okay, what about Instagram? Mm. Okay. What about WhatsApp? <laughs> there it is. So, okay. And the last one, the biggest one, TikTok. Okay. All right. So, does anyone know the age that we're meant to be on these apps legally? Isn't it thirteen? Yep. Yeah, well done. And how old are you? Okay. So how old are we all? Ten? Nine, ten, around that mark? Yeah. Okay. So our question: Why are we on these apps? Yeah, well done. So, some of the apps we use to communicate with our parents so they know we're safe, okay? That's the modern day age of using phones, okay? But the reason that the guidelines there is to keep you safe. And we understand as a police force and as a school that we're not going to stop young people going on these apps before they're meant to be, okay? It's not going to happen for the parents probably feel the same sometimes, we can't always stop people doing it, but that being safe. So if we start with Snapchat, can someone give me an example of what Snapchat does, okay, because I don't use it, so I really would like to know what it does. Can you talk to AIs on there, okay, so what's AIs? Okay. So the yeah, AI function, you can speak to it and ask you back with it. So it's there. If you put that for, for mental health and stuff like that to ask you questions if you're okay. Like you just said, you could give it your name. What's the dangerous about giving your details out to something that you don't know where it's going? Okay. So you're going to share that information. This AI system. Yes, it's an AI. Do you think that's going to be stored somewhere? Do you think Snapchat is going to get that information? Yeah, well done. So they can use it for your location. So if you was going to give your address, who else does that put at risk? If you just put that address in that AI and somebody else gets it and then starts messaging you, who, who else do you put at risk? Yeah, well done. So your parents could be at risk, okay? Your siblings, if you got older or younger, okay? So have to be very careful what we're sharing. Okay, and that applies across every app we go on to, okay? Any website we go on to, be careful what we're sharing, our information. Don't share personal information, 
your date of birth, your name, where you live, or anything like that. Okay. Also, if you are paying for things online, it may be Mom's other City is the card, you can use it to pay for any add-ons for a game or anything like that, like say FIFA for example. And if you've got a football kit on, you're going to buy packs. So, if Mom and Dad really trusted you and said, spend £10 by these packs, make sure you don't share that to everybody, okay? Make sure you deal with Mom and Dad as well. Because it's their cards, okay, their money, that can get a lot more fraud, just stuff like that, and a bigger picture, isn't it? Okay. So what else on WhatsApp can we do? Oh, not sorry, Snapchat, sorry. Yes, yeah, so we can take photos and use the filters. But what can we do with those photos? Right. But who are we send them to? Okay. Friends, okay. So that's two points we can come across on Snapchat now. So the friends list. Does everybody on their friends list on Snapchat know who they are? You know, every single person that you're sending your snaps to, you put them on your story or anything like that. Yeah, hands up if you do. Okay, hands up if you don't. Be honest, you're not going to get into any trouble. We need to help you. Hands up if you don't know your friends on there. Okay. Every one of you know every single person on your WhatsApp. I mean, it's not just sorry, you send it to. Yeah? Okay. That's good because we should always know who's on there, okay? Because if we accept a random person, we don't know who they are, do we? And the worst thing with social media and apps is to play out, we don't know who's on the other side, okay? They could be pretending to be your age, but really they're 40, okay? And they're talking to you. What's the dangers of that? Anyone have a guess? Ask them a little tough one. Like, sometimes you can put that discord on there. They could go into discord and like get in. Not done. That's going for photos, isn't it? So we have to get what we're taking. Because you represent the school, and I can see on your uniform, it's got the badge on there, okay? So if you are taking a snap selfie of yourself up in the air, and you put it online, and you don't know all your people who are on, on your Snapchat list, they might find your school, they might start hanging around by the school, aren't they? Okay? Then, Looking at the big picture, who else does that put at risk? Not me. That would be the teachers, it would be the rest of the staff. Okay? Staff who are filming, stuff like that. You guys, every year from your guys to below. Okay? So you have to be very careful what we're putting on. Okay? What about if someone sends you a picture that you're not meant to see on Snapchat? Hmm? Go and get them up, like block them or something. Yeah, so you could report, block them, yeah, you can report them, couldn't you? Who else should you tell? If you see a picture that you're not meant to see at your age, what, who else could you tell? Yeah, well done. Who else could you tell? Huh? Yeah, you can tell the police. Who do you see every day as well? Friends and teachers, yeah. So your teachers will support you as well as your parents, as well as us, okay? Because if you see an image that you're not meant to see at your age, how do you think that's going to affect you? Can you talk a bit about it? Yeah. A bit sad, it might make you feel a bit uneasy, and it, okay? Because the reason the ages are on there is because you guys are not ready to process that. Moment, are you okay? That's the reason we have ages on there, and the reason that you're in year six and you look to year seven in September, okay? It's just you're not ready for that at the moment, okay? You're not learned what it's about as much, okay? So it's to protect you. Also, on Snapchat, I've heard there's a map on there as well. Am I right? Okay, so that map, I've been told, pinpoints your location. Why is that dangerous? Yeah, we can find where you live. Well done. What else could they do on that? Yeah, they could follow you, couldn't they? If they've got you on there, or your friends that you don't know, they could follow you, couldn't they? So, I'm going to test you a bit here. How do I keep myself safe on Snapchat? I'm not sure if that happens, but I'll keep it. Yes, well then you can turn that off as well. You can turn your location off and there's something else you can do on the map as well. Alright, so you could have it on. There's something you can do and it stops people from seeing you. Is anyone on the mode that's called? 
Is it like hidden? Close. Yeah, hidden mode, ghost mode. It's called, actually called in the app, okay? You nod in so people are aware of that. So you can put it on ghost mode, so you can, your friends can still see if you allow it, but that other people can't, okay? So that's a good mode to have one, isn't it? Okay. What? Well, you could say if you're using this criminal, but maybe that's no case, but could you never find them? Yeah, so if you're in a situation like that, you could tell them, please, tell someone you trust, the school, your parents, okay? Always speak up about it, okay? And I'm going to keep saying that today. Always talk about something, but you're not going to be in trouble, okay? If everyone makes mistakes, it's about learning from those mistakes, isn't it? How can we rectify the mistake and learn from it, okay? This is why we're coming today to give you those tools, okay? So Snapchat in a nutshell, be careful what we're sending to people, make sure we know our friends who are on there, okay? Messages on there could be deleted, okay? But if the police need to get involved, we can recover those messages. Photos, okay? And that goes for any other app that you're using, okay? WhatsApp is a big one, okay? Which we'll come on to this in a minute. But we can recover that information if we need to. Don't worry, we're not looking at you at 24-7, okay? So don't be scared to send things and stuff like that. But think about the choices that we're making and what we are sending, because if the events lead to something that the police need to get involved, we can find it, okay? Does anyone know what a uh, digital footprint is? Yeah. Is it when, like, is it when, like, oh, someone can find all oh, what you've done in the past on the internet? Yeah, one time. And we can find that through different ways. Forensics, forensics will dig it out, okay, even though you've deleted it and you think it's gone. Okay. Right, so, should we move on to Instagram? I believe the best two is the last. Instagram, I'm going to use Instagram here. Any of the parents use Instagram? Yeah? Okay. So, everyone uses Instagram, okay? We run down on it, so you can post photos of yourself, of different things on your story time and on your profile. What about if Miss over here has just brought a brand new house? Okay, she's really excited about this. Her location's on. She takes a selfie of her by the front door. You can see the door number. And then posts it online for everyone to see. She's not quite sure who's on a friends list. Can someone tell me what's dangerous about doing that? What she's done. Yeah, I'll talk. People know where she lives. She knows, so they know the street, don't they? What else would they have found out on that photo? So, say, like, you were a witch that person saw you, they'd know, like, who you are because of that photo. Yeah, I'll do it. What else are we missing on there? So, what could they. So, they know the street now, but are you in the street? She could be in any house, but because she took a photo of her front door, what could be on the front door that gives it away? Yeah, I'm done. So now whoever's looking on Instagram can pinpoint exactly where Miss lives in a new house. So this person's come up to me now, she's got a 65-inch TV on the wall, which is brilliant for playing games. Someone's just gone in and taken it. What's the risks now? Who are you affected with now? Yeah, I'll do it. All because we have Miss hasn't thought quite not saying good this, but hasn't quite thought about putting that photo to one, okay? So what things can we do on Instagram to stop that happening? If we want to put a photo to one, like, I like cars, so I post my car on Instagram, but what can I do to help my, protect myself on it? So we have some other people this Well done, so we can crop out the pictures, edit the pictures, blur out information that are on there, okay? So we just can blur out the door number, okay? Then we couldn't see where, we wouldn't see where it was, okay? What else could we do to protect herself? Like, so, um, when she was by the door, you could, like, I think there's these apps that you can get to, like, edit photos. So you could, like, get rid of the, like, everything around the, like, the door and, um... Well done, so you can edit the photos and post it that way. Well, what else can we do on Instagram? So at the moment, I've just told you, Miss has got a location on there, so we can pinpoint the street, she tag the street in, and stuff like that, what can we do? Can you tell what text we can use? Yeah, so what text we can use? Yeah, 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 what text
Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Okay, turn the location off as well. Now I can see it. Who has Instagram? You're asking that question. So Instagram. If you're I'm not on your friends list, and I click on your profile, do you think I can see your photos? Yeah. Do you know what you can do to stop that? No. Well, you could block them and unfriend them. So if someone adds you that you don't know, you could unfriend them and block them and tell, tell an adult, yeah? I'm thinking something else you can do in your settings to protect yourself from that. Well, good. You can put your Instagram account on private mode. So if I'm going to look for Miss and New Hands, and we're not friends on Instagram, I can click on it. At the moment, I can see every photo Miss has put on. If she changed her account to private, it would be blank. It says private. And then the way I can see that is if I click that miss on there, okay, and then miss accepts me when she realises who I am, okay? And then I can see. So hands up if you've got Instagram, who's got on? Anyway, who's got Instagram first? Put hands up if you've got Instagram. Have you got that on? Have you got any trouble? Yes, you have. Okay. Parents, have you got it on? Yeah. yeah. Right, so that's little ways we can protect ourselves. You mentioned messaging. Yeah. Okay. So you correct. You can message directly on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, DMs, well done. Yeah, DMs, that's really good too. So that could be dangerous as well, can't it? Because you don't actually need to be friends to DM somebody, you can just message straight into the Okay. But what that does as well now, it filters it, so it gives you the opportunity to accept the message or not accept the message, okay? And if you accept the message, and it's something you shouldn't be looking at, what do we do? Yeah, make sure you tell somebody. Yeah, well done. So we're starting to get that idea of speaking about it, aren't we? Using that decision management skills to know it's right or wrong and tell somebody about it. Okay, if the parents could support you, school could support you, and the police, if they need to support you as well. Okay. What about if it's a link sent to you on the end? What do you do? Um, make sure it's, make sure it's a safe link, and if it's not, don't click on it. Well done. Okay. It's actually very lucky. I just see that you could do Okay, and would you trust that? It shows you what it is, but you don't want it to show you what it is. It kind of screens it for you. Yeah. Okay. So that, if you've got that on there, you could use that as well. But me, I still want to click that link. If I don't know where it's come from, trust the friend that sent it to me, don't click it. All right. so I've had an example in a different school where someone's clicked the link and it's been a reel of different videos of things that shouldn't, people shouldn't be seeing in your age. Okay, very inappropriate stuff. And this meant these people very upset, okay? Because the image they saw stuck in the head of it, okay? They didn't quite know how to deal with it. Alright. Keep that in mind because that's going to link into WhatsApp in a moment. Okay, so WhatsApp. Actually, go TikTok. Let's go TikTok. Who's got TikTok again? Alright, alright. And do all your mums and dads know you TikTok? Yeah? Okay, how many of you got friends? Parental controls on TikTok. Put your hands right up so I can see for me. One, two, three, four of you. Out of how many of you just put your hands up? Okay. Do you know why parental controls are there? Do you know what it does? It basically says, like, you can monitor what your child's watching and see it on there because there's some that aren't there. Like there's loads of like content in it that should have like it should be seen. So they, they can like set what what they want and what they want to watch. Yeah, well done. So parents can put this parent control up. I would be set by age or what they want to view. Okay, so until you're 18 you can't view certain things. It's quite scary that only four of you have got that on and uh, many of you in the room. Okay. TikTok is very big at the moment, is it? Most schools, that's what's causing issues as well as in out there in the public domain, okay? So we should have these on. The reason they're there is to protect you. 
stuff you see, things, stuff you get upset about things. I'm kind of be some horrible things on TikTok that you don't want to see. All right. So at the end of the day, you're only ten to nine. Okay. When I was ten and nine, I wasn't playing TikTok. I was playing football or playing outside with my friends stuff like that. Okay. And we don't tend to speak at this age, and this is what I'm going to keep saying. Speak up about something because if you do see something on there, it's your fault, is it? Okay. But if we give you the tools to do that, use these tools. Okay. What else can I do on TikTok to protect myself? You can answer that one. Yeah? No? Got over here then, so. What else can I do on TikTok? Um, yeah, well done, so you can put your account in private so people can't see the videos. You're viewing, you said what you're sharing, okay? What else can we do on TikTok? Like, do we have to post the videos for the world to see? Yeah. We can send them in our own browser, can't we? Send them to our friends if we want to, okay? I just touched on something there. TikTok is international, isn't it? Yeah, so what's dangerous about that? Yeah, well done. So I've got an example where the person did put their account in private, didn't have panel trolls on. She did a dance on there, as we do, okay? And then we had people, men, saying inappropriate things to her, okay, laughing at her, okay, in all the comments, and just flowing and flowing and flowing. And imagine how big most of the world giving you those comments. How's that going to affect that person? Okay, how would that affect you if you were in that situation? Well, it would, it would break the group. So I was going to say that that's how she blocked us, and she, she blocked her face and names and then like, hate comments about her. But she, someone, someone even, even on her face would block someone and say, you're really poor, and she, and she just deleted that comment because she, they, they don't know what she actually meant. So, yeah. so there you go. So you've got an example right there of comments not being very nice, okay? Being sexualized towards us at a young age, okay? So we have to be very careful. It is very dangerous. I mean, like I said, I'm not here to scare you though. I'm here to still give you the round of things can happen all day and it's not very nice. So parents will ask you and put these on. Because when I was a kid, like your age, I didn't want to give my phone to dad or anything like that. But as you get older, you understand that the parents in the room are here to protect you and keep you safe. They're not injuring you. They know what the world's like at the moment. They know what's like out there. Okay, so they're going to do everything they can to make sure you're safe. All right? And the reality is as well, I always say, if you're the same, we spoke the same, they're from the same, the world is boring, mate. It'd be very boring. We're all unique in our own way. So we can make decisions. And what I've found some schools is that parents have put these on, the children will take them off because they know how to change the passwords. Okay? They're a bit more savvy than parents on these apps. But that's putting you at risk, isn't it? Okay? That's really putting you in harm's way. And then you'll also define what your parents are trying to do. They're trying to look after you, okay? Same in school. Okay? Rules are there, and they'll be there for the rest of your life. I've got rules, I've got bosses, I've signed these certain things. Okay? Everyone in the room has certain rules. And you have to do, try and do the best you can to abide by them, okay? You understand that? I saw it with you. I saw it with you. I saw it yeah, so social media itself is a platform that's fake, isn't it? Sadly, social media is just fake. We only show you things on social media that, that we want you to see. We don't show you the reality of what's actually happening. Okay? So like I say, I can take a picture of a Lamborghini, obviously look at my car, okay? But really, I'll just put a picture of it on the car park and blow that to rage. You don't know the difference, do you? I can take a picture of my swimming pool, but really I took it off Google and put it on there. Social media is so fake, and we all strive to be like that. So if you go for famous people, for example, I always use wolves, so now people might have sport wolves in here. Do anyone sport wolves in here? Well, okay. <laughs> so wolves, footballer players, Ruben Nevis, for example, every time you go on his, he's showing that one again, he scored a goal, okay, he's doing this, he's doing that. But, the reality is, do we know what's going on in his actual life? How he feels about what's going on? No, we don't, do we? But we see the money, we see the nice things. But the reality is, these people have worked hard to get their motives, their choices to get there. Okay? That's not, not always the way life is, is it? We don't always going to have those very nice things. And that's not me saying you can't have dreams. 
but we have to be realistic. It's taking some time. Social media is very fast. And those influences on there, again, show you what they want to show. And the role models we try and pick, so say Messi, for example, or stuff like that. There is good role models out there. There's also bad ones, isn't there? And again, it's about our decisions. And we've all got our own minds to make those decisions, haven't we? Yeah. So, WhatsApp. Who's got WhatsApp? Uh, got a few years. So WhatsApp's a big one for me, especially in schools. I've worked in secondary schools and primary schools, now I'm just in primary schools, and WhatsApp seems to be the biggest thing that causes and stirs issues. Okay. So WhatsApp, we can send different mediums, can't we? Videos, photos, voice notes, stuff like that, can't we? Yeah, everyone agree? Yeah? We can also put our own photo on there, can't we? So when our friends see us pop up, we've got a photo of whatever you choose. Oh, yeah? Okay. So we can also create groups, can't we? Yeah. All right. So hands up who's in a group on here. On um, WhatsApp, sorry. Okay. Okay. So group chats can be good and bad. We use them in the police as well. Okay. Of course, we've got them all set out as well. We can't do certain things with them. All right. So before we get into them, does everyone know every contact in their phone? Who they are? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Has anyone got pictures themselves on WhatsApp or of different things? Give me some examples. What's your photo? Uh, mine is just. I don't remember what I'm using. Okay, that's fine. Ronaldo's are things we like, yeah? Okay. So what could be dangerous about putting your own photo in your face and they don't know everyone in your contacts? Don't want to let you into video. Um, so, like, people can just rather look like it and instantly, like, they can see, like, what you look like. Um, and you could, and they could put a photo of like them being like what um, a fifty year old man, um, and then they start a picture of like um, their favorite football player or something, um, and then it would like instantly not be looking, and then they could start like randomly messaging you like inappropriate things, even when you're only like ten or eleven minutes, you could get like really creepy. Yeah, well done. What would you do? Well done. So again, reiterating what we said, tell somebody about it, don't hide it, don't go through it alone. If someone is ringing you all the time, or send you a message, or send you a voice, message, send you in front of the photos, talk about it, tell somebody. We're not going to push you away, we're going to help you. Okay? You can also block the number as well, can't you? And when you block the number, you can still access it, so if you need to report it to the police, we've got it, and we can try and set the number if we need to. Okay? So, putting the photos on, like you said, could be dangerous because People might take that offline and then use it and pretend to be you, make fake accounts, message people, okay? An example I had one in secondary school where someone had taken a photo off, they were sending horrible messages and racist messages to somebody else, and then got, got pulled in because obviously it looks like her, doesn't it? But she didn't have an understanding that somebody had made that fake account of it. It's so easy to do, isn't it? To make an account on the website just so easy. Okay, so be careful, just be mindful what we're putting on, what photos. I'm not saying you can't put one of you, but if you don't know everybody in there, don't put one on there, okay? My photo is me and my little boy on there, okay? So I do it and I'm all to the police, do it if you can, but I know everybody in my, my group chat and everything that's in there, okay? For example, I've had someone message me saying, click the link and you've won £100 for this, okay? Don't click the link, okay? £100 sounds nice, it does, but don't do it, okay? Because they're just trying to scam you, okay? You input your details, and then you don't know what's going to happen after that. It's very dangerous, isn't it? Okay. Put hands down a second. I'll give you a chance to ask some questions. So, group chats. Okay, so, my example of group chats is that they can be very dangerous. So, I'll go for the police. For example, we have them for our teams, so we can send things easier. There's updates, we can get them quicker. But if we send something that's inappropriate, 
okay? Or we shouldn't be saying these things, so if we're laughing at a photo, okay, we can get in trouble for that. For example, we had one where, I'm not telling you where, but we had somebody take a photo of someone when they was on the scene, stuff like that, sent it into the group chat, okay? That person lost the job then. Okay, they're no longer working for the police. Why? Because as a professional organisation, we shouldn't be laughing or telling jokes, okay, in a group chat or anything like that, because it's very unprofessional. It's not fair on the person what was happening at the time, is it? Okay. That's where it's dangerous. We might think it's a joke, but for that person, it might not be. Okay. So, for example, say if you four were all in a group chat and I send in a photo of me in pink flip flops and socks, okay, and you're my bestie, I said, oh, don't send it anywhere, look at me in these socks. Then you decided to send it to all the parents in the room in their group chat, and the parents send it to all the teachers in the room, and the teachers send it to everyone who's filming, everyone like that, okay, and now it's all over the internet, okay. Then it's going around to school. I'm coming to school now and everyone's laughing at me because I'm wearing pink flip flops and pink shorts. Okay, yes, it's funny. It's funny. Because I'm wearing pink flip flops and socks and I don't understand why we do that, but we do. Now, how am I going to feel about that? Set any tears about like what's happened, and then like you've come to school the next day, and you're worrying about it, so you don't get enough sleep, and then you're getting like really depressed, and like your mental health is going on, like really badly because of that. Well done, that's the grand, so there's this straight out in the head, okay? So the impact of someone doing that, okay, can be very, very severe, okay? So I always say, drop a, everyone drops a, a brick in water, then brick is out. Okay, so at that time, my bestie here thought it was harmless, which is a funny photo, but it spread out to the school. Now I come to school, I'm not asleep at night now, so now it's affecting my education because I'm not concentrating in class. I might get in trouble in school, okay, because I'm not listening. Maybe my mood's changing because I'm snapping, okay. Teachers are in detention and stuff like this, being sent home. It spreads further, I'm getting home now, parents are shouting at me more because I'm not listening, because I'm upset, okay? Then it starts to affect your mental health, okay? And you might fall into depression, okay? And the worst case scenario is, I don't want to be here anymore, okay? That's scary, isn't it? All from one photo, that one decision to send it out, okay? Some might say, I should have sent that photo to you, which is a good point. Don't send anything to somebody that you're not quite sure they're going to send it out. Because if it's not out there, it's on your phone, it can't go anywhere, can it? And with today's age, the internet is spread so fast that we can't stop it. You don't want to become a meme, do you? Not quite sure. No? No, no. something, some doubt. Yeah, but we don't want to do that. Okay? So what would be the consequences, do you think, of me not wanting to be here anymore and it's got to that stage? Do you think the four people in this group chat would all get into trouble or would you be the person that sent it around? Hands up if you think all of them. Okay. Hands up if you think that one person who sent the photo from their phone. No? Okay. So, unfortunately, it would be all of you. Okay, you could all possibly get in trouble for doing it, even though you've sent the photo but you three haven't. And the reason for that is because you're all in that group chat and not one of you has gone to miss, mom, dad, police. This is happening to somebody that will leave this person to send this photo around. Okay? And it's called some called joint enterprise. Okay? And it works for adults as well, okay? Even though you're not actually involved with the offence happening, okay? Well, you know about this offence and you haven't said nothing or spoken or you're likely to get punishments as well. It might not be as severe as yours, but you might get one or it could be all the same, okay? And like I said about Snapchat, if you delete anything, okay, we can still find it. 
And at this point, the police are going to get involved. We've got a young person, and he's safeguarded because they don't want to be here anymore. Okay, so now we have to get involved to understand the bigger picture. All right. So it's very scary, isn't it? So it's about making those decisions again. Like I said, we're all unique. We can all make our own minds. So if we don't want to be in a group chat with someone, what can we do? Leave. We can leave. Sometimes I get questions about, well, what about if I didn't see the notification? Okay, but well, we all know on WhatsApp. If someone messages, it pings straight up on the phone, isn't it? Yeah? And then someone said to me, well, what about if I've got the notifications and that on there? I said, well, when you go on the WhatsApp, yeah, if someone's messaging you straight at the top, isn't it? It comes straight up. It's the first one that you see. So if you were in that situation, it's going to be difficult to explain why you didn't say anything, isn't it? Very hard, isn't it, to do that? Are we really able to, if my phone dies, I'll leave it for like three days and then I don't, and then I'll bother to charge it then. I don't bother to charge it back. If that was the case, in those three days, you'd see the message, you could go straight to miss and go, this has happened. And I think we run out of time because this is going a bit quicker. So, got a quick question for you. All right. What's the age you could be arrested and charged for an offence? Yeah, well done. How old are you guys? Nine, 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 nine. ten. So now it's getting very serious now, isn't it? You're going to be taking your responsibility for things. Okay. And even things like that app. Okay. If you get a criminal record, what's it stop you doing? In the job. Yeah, so in jobs. So any of you want to be police? Want to be the police force? Yeah? So we've got a couple of doctors, teachers. Yeah? This is not going to happen, is it? You're going to be very fine, very hard to do that, even though you've done something 10 years old by sending a photo around. Okay? So think about the decisions that we're doing. Think about the things that we are doing. Okay? Also, we can't go to certain countries either, can we? No, so America, Australia, for example, we can't do it. All right. Does everyone understand that, yeah? Okay, so just please think about the decisions that we make. If parents are putting things in place, it's not the hindrance of the school, this to help you. Okay? I'm going to tell the parents quickly about something before we run out of time as well that I found out about yesterday, which is really good for them. So, parents, you can now get that, um, which is called My Family Link, and it's powered by Google, that allows you to control the children's phone. You can even turn it off on your phone. To. Okay, you can limit what they go on to and how long they go on to it as well. Right. I'm Sam, so at the moment I'm doing a bit of research which I will send to Mr. Send out to you because I only found about yesterday from a different school which I thought was a brilliant idea because it stops and these guys can't override it it's all connected to your phone. So if you've got two kids or three kids you can have every kid's phone on there. Okay, and it will stop them doing it. Alright, so you can control everything they do. So if they're playing it at night, for example, and they need to sleep, um, okay, don't have to, they can't do it. It's that scary for you guys now, isn't it? Because you've got no control over that now. So it's best to go home, speak with mum and dad, and put these settings up together, isn't it? Okay, because they can see what you're doing as well, isn't it? Okay. I think it's a brilliant idea because it keeps you guys safe. Okay, and I will find more information and get Mr. Send it across for you, because obviously it's new to me as well. I don't know everything about it yet. It's a very good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone got any quick questions? Uh, that link that you're talking about, uh, it was like iPhone to iPhone. And my, my son is very, very clever. He, he, I, I bought him an iPhone and he refused the iPhone because he knew that there was a link like that. He couldn't link it like to, to Samsung. I don't know what you can do it now. We, the person, the, the teacher that's, that showed it me was on Samsung. So it should be out there. Like I say, we'll get the information for you guys and send it across so that people start using it. And also so the police can start broadcasting it a bit more because it would be so good to be able to give you guys have control of that a bit more to keep them safe. Any more questions, Joel? Oh, sorry. Like, 
will they come? Will they come to? Will they use the internet to try and get them like drones or obviously where they're going? Depends on what they're doing. Honestly, in the situation, usually children won't run away from the police. They'll come and work with us, and because parents will still be there with you, even though you were held responsible. I'll still be there for you, so you tend to not have that. But yes, if they needed to, if you went missing, for example, they would put drones, they would do everything they can to find you, make sure you're safe. And it's not about punishing you, okay? I mean, it's about the police, it's not always about putting you in prison because you think it's about support and helping you. Even adults that get arrested or put in prison, they get support. Because again, it's about rectifying the mistake. They have to accept the punishment. How can we help you so that you don't do it again? And you can focus on getting better at something okay? That's what it's all about. And that interpretation of the police, it's not all bad. At my role, I help you guys as much as I can with the tools that we can, okay? So don't always think that you're going to get in trouble by saying something to me, or to me, okay? Yes, you might get some sort of punishment because something you don't might need that. But at the end of the day, we're still there to support you, we'll still go support you for it. And the same with parents, okay? I'm glad that some of you have come as well because now you've met me, and I am going to be the PTSA for the school, yeah. okay, and I'll purely be in school. So I have said to the dog, so my email will go out to you, so you've got any queries or anything like that, regarding school, stuff like that, or if you want to support any of the children, if they're in here and stuff like that, open to that as well. Or if you just want to meet me in school, you can do that as well. So if you think of any questions after this, if you fire across to miss, I'll have to do that, or I'll move the issue. Right, so, um, PCSA books, I think police will put the contacts on the video so we have to be able to put any other questions on the world to ask for parents or any other parents that you're talking to as well. You find me six. Thank you very, very much for your engagement. You have been really good this afternoon and thank you for your honesty as well because this is about education. And it really, really is about education. And if anything happens that you are worried about at all, then you must tell either your parents or your parents or your parents or your tell someone who you know can support and who can help you. In terms of your own group and your WhatsApp groups, look at it this way. If you were to say something and it was in front of your parents, it was in front of me, it was in front of my grandma, it was in front of my granddad, it was in front of somebody else's family. If you can't say it to them, don't say it on your social media. Because somebody will see it and it doesn't go away. Okay? So protect yourself, look after yourself, get help if you're worried or scared. But think, would I say this in front of them? The answer is you wouldn't come out here and say it in front of everybody. You don't put it on your social media. Also, as well, sorry, if you know anybody else that's struggling with something, okay, tell somebody as well. Because imagine if you were there, if you want the help and support, and it's not grassing as we say, okay, it's helping somebody, supporting somebody, okay. Always remember that. Please, please, don't be scared to do it. It's not embarrassing, it's not uncool. Okay? At some point in life, I think everyone in the room has asked for help to something. Okay? And it's not trying to find anymore. Okay? We're to be there. Okay, we've gone right up to the wire, so thank you very much, everyone. Can we please, Alec, uh, thank you, give a round of applause?